has been quite some time since I've used this camera. Hello, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Delilah and I make motherhood content and homemaking content here on my channel. Today's video is going to be a thrift with me. I have hardly had a chance to go thrifting since Annie's been born. This is something I normally do on a pretty regular basis, but life has been busy in the best way and I just have not had a chance to get out and go thrifting. But since being postpartum, I have noticed there is a gap in my wardrobe that I need to fill and when I need to get clothes, I love to first thrift clothes first or at least try to thrift clothes before I end up shopping new. I'm in that awkward stage postpartum where my obviously my maternity clothes don't fit right now and my pre-pregnancy clothes are just too small I will not be able to wear those for a number of months I have them in storage ready for the day when I do fit back into them but for now I need something in between I've been very slowly rebuilding my wardrobe and I've noticed a few things about myself in the last couple of months my style is slowly growing more feminine I've been really enjoying wearing skirts and dresses and quite frankly that's the only thing that fits me right now for the last couple months my pregnancy skirts and dresses were the only thing I could wear and then after Annie was born I tried squeezing into some of my looser fitting pants and overalls and I hated it I felt so restricted and honestly I didn't even feel very comfortable like I felt very self-conscious I couldn't even go a whole day wearing them I just took them off and put on the dress again because that's what I feel most comfortable in right now that's what I feel is most flattering on me right now so I'm not even gonna look at the pants section today I'm gonna be looking at skirts dresses blouses sweaters cardigans I like to go to Pinterest for inspiration and so today I'm searching for some similar pieces that you will see on here I'm searching for some chunky cardigans um, maybe dresses I think that's gonna be a little bit challenging to find um, but I know I can definitely find cardigans maybe some sweaters maybe a blouse or two I'd really love a Peter Pan collar blouse I'd love to find a black sweater because I don't have one of those I'd love to find some just like frilly blouses some loose chunky cardigans to throw over dresses that's my favorite way to winterize dresses um, and then maybe like a, a brown belt. I have a black belt. I don't have a brown belt. I think that's something I can thrift. Maybe a jacket. I'm really in need of like a dressier jacket, maybe like a wool jacket, but jackets are hard for me to find, especially at a thrift store because I am small. Uh, I'm very petite and jackets just don't fit me very well. And because we are going into a cooler season, I would also love to find uh, like a skirt slip or a dress slip maybe both something that I can wear as an extra layer underneath but also something that I can wear if my dresses or skirts are a little bit see-through you know having that extra layer would be nice that's what I'm hunting for today alongside other things because I'm at the thrift store I'm obviously going to browse all of the sections in the thrift store hopefully we can find some good stuff today I'm gonna feed Annie and we're gonna head in.
Oh my goodness, the thrift store was killing it today. There was so much good stuff. Like, not just in the clothing section. Like, I found some solid pieces there. Not a lot, but a few good ones. But the home section and the fabric section and everything was just like, it was all so good. I don't feel like I need to go to another thrift store yet. But while I have only one child with me, I figured I might as well just take advantage of this time. And we're at another thrift store. I'm going to pop in for a little bit. And then we're going to go home and I'm going to show you all the goodies that I found. Here we are. I am loving this color palette. We've got browns, we've got like maroons, reds, some greens, we've got navy blues. I'm first gonna try these on, see how they fit, and then I'm gonna show you the other goodies that I got from the thrift store. This one, I'm on the fence about. It's not a very soft material, but it does look like it's vintage. Let's give you a better idea of what this looks like. The colors are very pretty. It's not super comfy though, it is a bit scratchy. I don't know if I would ever reach for this, but this definitely fits in with my Pinterest theme. It's nice, but I don't think I'm ever gonna reach for it. If this was a softer material, I might keep it, but because it's not, this one's gonna go back. I am in love with this one. I wish you could reach through the screen and feel this because it is so soft and cozy. I love these pearl buttons on the front and the fit is perfect. This one is definitely staying in my wardrobe. Oh no! A little disappointing, but there are some holes in the sleeve. I'm wondering if maybe I can do some fun embroidery over top of that to add some character, but also cover up the holes. It's not a deal- oh, there's one in this one too! It's not a deal breaker for me though. I think I can make this work. This one was $11. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's not bad, but it's not super comfortable. Again, it's kind of scratchy. I do love that the buttons actually go all the way up to the top of the neckline. The color is right, it fits right, but I just don't think this is what I'm gonna reach for, so I'm gonna bring it back, but it does totally fit with my theme that I'm going for. I can hear my daughter waking up, so we're gonna have to make this fast, but this one's not bad. I like the navy blue. It's different than anything else I have in my wardrobe, and yet it still matches with the stuff that I have in my wardrobe. I don't have a lot to say about this one. I can't say that I'm in love with it, but it is nice. It does fit well. It was... Ten dollars. I don't know. What do you think? Last but not least is this skirt. Now it's obviously too big. Briefly looking at it, I thought maybe I could cinch it in somehow, but my sewing knowledge is about this big and I don't think I can do it. But at a glance, this one reminded me so much of one of the pictures that I have on Pinterest. The skirt is what really inspired me. I definitely want a skirt like this with this color pattern, but this one this one is not the one. Now I gotta go get my daughter. I'll be right back. We've got a little guest joining us for the rest of this video. This is the only kids clothing item I bought. I didn't really look, but I did glance at the boys' sweaters and I happened to find this navy blue cardigan. I kid you not, I was about to spend a lot of money on a very nice navy blue cardigan when I found this at the thrift store for five dollars. This is exactly what I was looking for. Looks like it's really good quality and it's even got these nice little wooden buttons down the front. Whenever I go to a thrift store, I always look at fabrics. I look at tablecloths, curtains, bed sheets. I've been starting my own collection of fabrics to use for sewing curtains or pillowcases. I actually want to start getting into sewing dresses and clothing and stuff like that too. I have a long ways to go before I get to that point but I'm slowly starting to um, gather my collection because thrifted fabrics are so much cheaper than going to a fabric store and buying fabric. The bed sheet selection was so good this time and I actually had to say no to a lot of them. Um, but I found this one. This is a green gingham bed sheet for $6.50. That is a lot of fabric for $6.50. Then I found this bed sheet with these pretty roses on it. It is gorgeous. This one was $3.50. And then this is just a scrap piece of fabric. This isn't a bed sheet or a curtain or anything. And this was $4. But like, look at the beautiful colors in this. 
The colors are stunning. And even all three of these fabrics together, like they're beautiful. I found a couple of picture frames, one with a beautiful like vintage, maybe even antique photo inside. Frame needs a couple of nails to hold it in place a little bit better, but other than that, it's in perfect condition. It's a picture of some sheep by the seaside. It's got a little poem on the bottom. It's very cute. This frame was $4. It doesn't have any glass in it, but I loved this detail on the edges. Yeah. I found a pack of wooden spoons for $5. Slowly I'm growing my wooden utensil collection and these ones are perfect. They are beautiful. I'm gonna do a very deep clean on these. I'm gonna soak them in a lot of vinegar and water and scrub and scrub and scrub. But like, like these are beautiful. I bought a mug. It's been a long time since I've purchased a mug. I haven't been able to find Hi. I haven't been able to find anything that I like until I came across this one. This one was $2 and it matches the blue and cream collection that I've got going on in my kitchen. Isn't it so cute? And then I found the set of five cute little bowls for $6. I've been wanting a set of smaller bowls for like ice cream or yogurt or soup or you know small desserts. And these ones are so cute. They're mostly white, but the rim is red. And they've got these cute little handles on the side. I love them. As I mentioned earlier, I've been wanting to do some more sewing and I've been working on growing my collection, my collection of threads and fabrics. And I've recently started purchasing some sewing patterns. There are so many at the thrift store. There's a lot of vintage ones and really cute ones. You just gotta sift through them. So I found this one of really cute girls clothes. I think this one's my personal favorite. There's some girls sets and dresses. This is another kids clothing one, but this dress in particular, this is what caught my eye. <laughs> I thought this one was kind of hilarious, but also kind of cute. I found a sewing pattern for lingerie. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this, but I like they're actually cute. I found one for skirts, and then I also found this one. I thought that dress was really pretty, very similar to this one actually. And then last but not least, I expanded my basket collection. They actually had a good basket selection. Lately, they haven't had a lot of good baskets, but I found this one, which I'm in love with. It's got the handles and everything like this would make a perfect knitting basket or something like that. And then I found another one that's a similar size also with handles. I feel I'm always running out of baskets. So whenever I find a good one at the thrift store, I buy it. That is everything I found at the thrift store. I ended up spending $132 after all was said and done. So all of that for $132 is not bad. I would consider this a success. Maybe not so much for clothes, but overall it was a success. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy these thrift with me videos, make sure to give this one a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite item that I managed to score today. As always, thank you for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.